My name is Dr. Patrick Bechtiger, and I'm here from Imperial College London, and I'm delighted to be able to present our book chapter at this year's uh, Petri Flom Conference. Uh, the title of our chapter is on screening for heart failure in the home through a self-examined uh, AI technology. So in essence, what our team has done is we've validated uh, a point of care diagnostic for heart failure, which simply involves a small handheld device being applied to the chest and recording 15 seconds of the electrocardiogram. With artificial intelligence, we're able to then infer whether or not the patient has heart failure. So we, in our previous studies, found that actually this device is very easy to use and have evolved uh, to, to developing a pathway intended eventually for national screening, where patients are posted the device to apply to themselves in their own home for a 15 second test. So naturally, this is a, a vanguard activity that takes an AI technology out of the hospital into the patient's home and surfaces some really important ethical considerations, uh, so things around agency, uh, considerations, considerations around equity as well, and also thinking about data protection. So our book chapter outlines various recommendations for each of those points and concludes on really needing to think about how we involve all the different agencies, specifically in the UK, uh, to really work together collaboratively in a way that is permissive for the deployment and regulation of these devices, but in a way that is also respectful and considerate of the responsibility to protect public health. Uh, so first question is, what is one thing you'd like people to know about this area? Um, so I think we're in a really exciting time uh, for artificial intelligence and cardiovascular disease, and specifically uh, in the decentralization of these technologies. So the pathway, we preso we, the pathway we propose is going to put this technology into the hands of patients to be able to take on some agency uh, to screen themselves for all really important uh, public health priorities in cardiovascular and eventually other diseases as well. But I think the most important thing to know is that with the right approach early on and blueprinting all of the considerations around some of the ethical challenges uh, and addressing these means that we can really forge forward in the way that protects public health. What is your prediction for how this area will progress? Or what would you like to see happen in this area? Uh, so my, my, our prediction is that different agencies are going to get better at working together because we can really seize upon the huge opportunity proffered by these new AI technologies. What I'd really like to see happen is for cardiovascular disease to plow the furrow of, of being an exemplar of taking technologies and putting them into the hands of patients and to then be able to build out into other use cases to ad address other public health priorities.